Good morning, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. Okay, again, we are back with our watch 7 elite smartwatch okay and of course we are we already compared it with the i7 pro smartwatch this time we are going to compare it with the i7 pro max smartwatch okay as you can see here they both have the same color the same strap options okay we'll see if they do have the same form factor or the size of the frame here as well as the weight we are go also going to check the menus and the different functions in the wearable okay so let's start again this is our i7 pro max and we have the watch 7 elite smart watch they are almost identical as you can see here okay so let's have a closer look okay with brush finish okay and for the i7 pro max max it is a bit metallic here as you can see okay let's have a closer look here at the back okay here on the i7 pro max we have some discoloration here i don't know what happened here okay but they almost have the same frame here okay so let's check or uh, let's measure okay so with frame width let's check we have as you can see here 36 okay on this part we have let's check the watch 7 again it is much wider we have 37 or 36 almost the same okay here on the land we have 44 well this one let's check Okay, so the same 44. Okay, for the thickness, not including the sensor. Let's check here. We have 9, as you can see here. Okay. Well, the other one, the Elite 7 smartwatch, let's see. Okay, the same. Almost the same. Okay, frame size. And the design here, except, la except for the crown button here. Okay. See. So there is the difference on the crown button as well as the pillow shape button on the bottom part with the i7 pro max it is protruding while for the elite 7 it goes with the frame seamless okay for the strap the same strap okay so let's check for the weight here okay before we proceed with the menus i'm pretty sure you are interested to see what the menus what the difference between the menus okay or the ui of the wearable okay so of course we have here our weighing scale so let's check we have here the i7 pro max let's weigh in we have 50 grams flat 50 grams okay while for the elite smart watch the watch 7 we have 49.72 well you can round it off to 50 also okay so almost they have the same weight 
as well as the frame size okay how about for the menus and the different functions available in the wearable okay so i'm pretty sure you are interested so we're going to check it out okay so we will adjust our platform here okay so that we can see the menus very clearly okay our platform is ready here so we are now going to check on the menus and features of the wearable okay so let's activate it here okay so we have okay so let's activate it okay so from top to bottom we have the settings okay so we have a beautiful a good setup ui here for the i7 pro max compared to our elite 7 smartwatch but still both smartwatch do have the settings here the necessary settings for the smooth operation of your wearable as you can see here easy access okay so here for the from left to right okay okay so you can change the watch face here for the elite 7 the same with the from right to left okay for the i7 pro max okay so the same setup here okay so from bottom to top let's see so we have the menus okay how about this one so we have the same menus but with the uh elite 7 it's much bigger icon here compared to the i7 pro max as you can see here okay so let's see okay so we have power button here power saving what about here we have team heart rate blood oxygen we have sports as you can see here okay for the uh, i7 pro max the sports function is already outside of the menu or on the main menu okay as you can see here it is not categorized into sports function that's why when you are trying to look for something it is somewhat cluttered okay instead of i don't know why they put it outside of a sports category the sports function is already available in the main menu here compared with the elite 7 okay that it is available in the sports section okay let me show it to you okay did we miss it let me check history here in sport function here okay while for the i7 pro max it's already available here outside anyway the same we have tennis walking riding volleyball okay running okay limited for the i7 pro max but both do have okay a dialer for its bluetooth call Again. Okay, as you can see here okay for the heart rate let's check the ui so here's the heart rate well for this one let's see the heart rate okay so did you see the difference 
which is a better UI. I think the the i7 Pro Max do have a much better UI. What else do we have? Okay, let's check. Weather QR code. Okay, I think let's go for the menu option. Okay. Menu option. Okay, how many menus do we have here? There's a lot of option for the Elite 7. Okay, we have 9 apps, smart style, list menu, 6 grid. Okay, how about for the i7 Pro Max? Let's check. Okay, we have at least 3 menu style. Okay. I'm going back what else did we check the blood pressure okay not yet okay let's check seems like we don't have a blood pressure here we do we have a blood pressure monitoring Let's check for the blood pressure. Okay, it's already available here in the heart rate. Okay, so it is detecting simultaneously, monitoring simultaneously the heart rate as well as the blood pressure. Okay, for the Elite 7, let's check. Okay, it's a separate function here. Okay. So separate function different approach okay what else okay let's check we have voice memo here so there's more function available in the elite 7 compared to the uh, i7 pro max okay with a much bigger screen display and slimmer bezel here. Okay, for the watch face, let's check. Okay, so it is already preloaded. Okay. So they almost have the same watch faces, I think. But more options for the Elite 7. Okay, I think the the L7 do have a much bigger okay memory. So you can store okay a number of watch faces. Okay. So far when it comes to functionality, sports function and other options here, okay, the edge goes to the Elite 7 smart watch. Okay, but there's a lot of fun for a lot of users for the i7 Pro Max. Okay, but for me, I think the i7 Pro is much better compared to the i7 Pro Max. Okay, although this smartwatch is also okay. I just don't like the menus. So far, we did not receive any updates for the over the air update for the i7 Pro Max so that they can change or they can, they can add added functionality for the Elite 7. The issue with my, the Elite 7 here, smartwatch, based on my experience, I don't know if it's mine only or it is also happening to other Elite 7 smartwatch, is the battery life. It has a very short battery life for this one. The standby time, it takes at least 3 days only. Okay, compared to other Series 7, that it takes at least a week. Okay, but so far it has a lot of options here. I haven't tried some, okay, but I will check on as we go on with our review of our Elite 7 smartwatch. Okay, so if you have any questions regarding these two smartwatches, okay, almost the same design, the i7 Pro Max, okay, and the 
elite smartwatch please drop a comment below and of course we will try to answer your queries if we do have the time bye